lately in my in-person practice, I've been seeing a number of patients that are suffering from lung issues. These issues include things like a dry cough, shortness of breath, catching colds easily, nasal congestion, nasal dryness, sore throat, dry throat, dry mouth, and even dry skin and lips. I've also seen patients that are producing a lot of phlegm. So they've got a cough with phlegm that's different colors. Maybe they have phlegm that's stuck in their throat, so they're constantly clearing their throat. They may even be blowing their nose consistently or complaining of post-nasal drip. Hi, my name is Mallory. I'm a practitioner of Chinese medicine, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you several very easy, accessible tips that you can do to take care of your lungs this autumn season. In Chinese medicine, the lungs are associated with the season of autumn simply because this is the season that challenges our lungs the most. So the air that we're going to be breathing in through our mouth and our nose is now going to be cold, dry, and then when we move into our offices, our cars, or even our homes, that air is going to be warm, but it's still going to be dry. So we try and remedy this by putting humidifiers in our houses, or you're like me and you leave little bowls of water around the house trying to put some more humidity into the air. Our lungs need a little bit of moisture. They don't do well when they're excessively dry. They naturally have a little bit of moisture within them that helps them to work efficiently. When we have too much moisture, we will have more phlegmy signs and symptoms like I mentioned before. So besides using a humidifier and drinking plenty of water, what are some other things that we can do to help our lungs during this challenging time of year? Well, if you suffer from lung dryness or lungs that produce more phlegm, I want to advise you to avoid cold and raw foods. This is simply because the air around us and the environment is cold. So we don't want to put more cold into our body because our body is naturally already trying to work with the natural environment around us that's cold. Cold raw foods are just more difficult for our body to process and break down during the colder seasons. So with that, I want to encourage you to eat lots of delicious, warm, cooked soups that are going to be easier for your body to break down and process. If you suffer more from phlegm issues, I'd advise you to completely stop eating any sort of greasy or dairy foods. This is simply due to a concept called the doctrine of signatures. So that that looks similar are going to produce or have that sort of effect. So imagine you're blowing out a bunch of phlegm, you're coughing up a bunch of phlegm, and then take a look at that cheese or that sticky, gooey, greasy thing that you may be eating. They look pretty similar. So in order to avoid producing more phlegm, we don't want to put something in our body that looks phlegmy as well. And the truth is, is that dairy does have a tendency to compound within our body. So that could aid in then causing you to have more phlegm. If you're someone who suffers more from dry signs and symptoms, I'd like to encourage you to include these foods into your diet for at least the next seven to 10 days. Those foods include spinach, rice, millet, which is a grain, pears, almonds, peanuts, eggs, clams, mussels, pork, mustard greens, sweet and regular potatoes, and bananas. 
If you have more phlegm signs and symptoms and produce more phlegm, then I'd like to encourage you to include these foods into your diet. Those are apples, pears, peaches, citrus fruit, radishes, pumpkins, carrots, cauliflower, and cabbage. Now we simply don't want to just add these foods to our daily diet or lifestyle. We want them to consume our daily food intake. So if you have three meals a day, I'd suggest that you include at least one food from these categories into each and every single meal throughout your day. When we're wanting to repair or assist in something, more is more. So we really wanna juice up our lungs and give them a lot of resources that they can use from these natural resources. From there, I would suggest including these foods into your diet for at least seven to 10 days, whether you suffer from lung dryness or lung phlegm. You really wanna give your lungs an opportunity to equalize, to use those resources that you're putting in consistently throughout the day and for several days to really have an effect on the body. Think of it as like your doctor giving you an antibiotic and saying, okay, take this for 10 days or take the whole bottle. You listen, you comply. Well, when we're using natural medicine or food for that same purpose of trying to heal our body, we really want to do the same thing. We want to stay consistent and get it into our body in larger quantities. All right, enough with that. I'm done preaching. I'm pretty sure I got my point across. I just want to leave you with two quick bonuses. One of the best things that we can do for our body is to prepare it for the season that is to come. So we're more than halfway through the autumn season. We're gonna be moving into winter and I have created winter fundamental practice videos for you. There's four of them and you can find a link to those below. I suggest that you start those practices now to get your body ready for the winter season. My second bonus tip for you is wear a scarf always. It's cold out there. We need to protect our body, our physical body, from all the ailments that come with autumn and winter. If you're raising your eyebrows or maybe feeling a little curious about why I'm suggesting wearing a scarf always, you can check out my video all about it and I'll link to that below. And I make these videos for you. So if you have any questions, suggestions, or you're curious about something, drop me a couple lines in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Don't Give forget me. to like this video and subscribe below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and have a wonderful time enjoying those foods.